All right, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to make the upper body part of the Lego man here. So let's get started. Let's come on over here, file new, and we're going to do a standard millimeter part and hit create. Let's go ahead and start a 2D sketch on our XY plane here. All right. And now we're going to come over here and drag out a rectangle and we want a two point center. And we're going to make that with the following dimensions, 15.5 and the other side at 7.8 millimeters. Okay. We're going to hit enter. We're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. Now we're going to make a plane offset from, let's see here, the XY plane, a distance of 13.1 millimeters. All right, and we're going to start a sketch on here. And once again, we're going to do a two point center, but the dimensions here are a little bit different. We're going to have a total length of 11.1 .1 here, millimeters. Hit your tab button. And we're going to make this distance 7.8. Hit enter. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to come over here to our loft tool. Loft right here. We're going to click here. Click to add. You can click over here or you can just click on the sketch. Either one is fine. Hit OK. OK, now let's rotate our body around here and start a 2D sketch on the base here. All right, and we're going to once again uh, do a two point center rectangle here. And it's going to have the following dimensions. We're going to make this side 13.5 millimeters, hit the tab button, and the other side 5 millimeters. Hit enter. Okay, and we're going to finish our sketch. And now we are going to do a plane offset from this guy. Okay, and but we're going to go the other way, and that's going to be uh, minus 1.4 millimeters. And then we're going to start a sketch on that very same plane here. And once again, we're going to come on over here to our uh, two-point center. Start at the very center. Drag out your square here. Be careful not to um, connect it to the hidden lines here. And... We're going to make this one 8.73 millimeters. Hit the tab button and 5 millimeters. Hit enter. Okay. Now let's finish our sketch. And we're going to do another loft this time. And we're going to click to add. You Once again, like I said, you can click on the sketch or you can just click over here. Okay. And then click to add. And we're, this time we're going to remove material. So we're going to make sure you select this button right here and hit OK. All right. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn off the visibility for some of these work planes now. OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and start a 2D sketch on here. We're going to make our head sort of connector piece here. Okay, find that center dot and just drag out a circle with a diameter of 4.8. Hit enter. And let's finish it and extrude that guy. A distance of 6.2. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and make the holes for the arms. So let's start a 2D sketch on that side. Okay, once again, come back to our circle tool here. Find this center, come on up, drag uh, out a circle with a diameter of 3.8 millimeters. And uh, from this side, we are going to dimension it 3.9. And then from the top, from the bottom, we're going to dimension it 9.2. And then we're going to finish our sketch and we are going to go ahead and extrude that guy. But we're going to go the other way and we're going to cut a distance of just two millimeters here. Okay. 
and now we have one uh, hole for the arm but we need another one obviously so we're just going to use our handy dandy uh, mirror tool here and we're going to click on our feature and the mirror plane we want is our XYZ plane. Go ahead and hit OK. And there you go. There's our other armhole there. All right, now let's flip our body over and we're going to start a 2D sketch on this surface for right here. And I'm going to kind of rotate my body here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my line tool. And if you look on the underneath of a Lego man, you'll see these little sort of rib features, I guess. Um, draw out a line just for now any size with this general ship pattern and then connect it there okay now let's throw some dimensions in it um, from here to here we're gonna go with just 0.8 and then from this distance to this distance we're gonna go with a distance of 3 And the total height, click here, click here. We're going to go with 2.5. And we're good. Um, let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Now let's go ahead and extrude this guy. And we want to go the other way a distance to next. So that'll basically take us all the way to the top of our Lego hollow portion here. And then hit OK. And what's nice about the Lego man, it's very symmetrical, just like humans are. So we're gonna come on over here and once again use our mirror. Okay, we're gonna mirror this guy. And the mirror plane. We're going to go with that one. Hit OK. Whoop. Let's edit, undo that real quick. Once again, mirror. Click on that guy. Mirror plane. That one. Hit OK. And then we're going to also mirror it again. We're going to click on that guy and that guy. And we're going to mirror it that way. And hit OK. All right. And now we have our little features here on the bottom of our Lego man. Let's go ahead and take the visibility off this plane here. Um, And let's see here. Check visibility right there. All right. Now, okay, we got to go make one more feature here on the bottom. So let's start a sketch right here. And we're going to drag out a circle with a diameter of two millimeters. Hit enter. Finish sketch and extrude the other way. And we're going to cut material a distance of two millimeters. Hit OK. Now the last thing we need to do is throw some fillets on there with a distance of uh, 0.2 millimeters here. So on all the corners, we're going to put those on there. And then on the top here, too, of the head portion, hit Apply. Hit Cancel. And then we're going to do one more fillet. Instead of 0.2, we're going to do 0.5. And we're just going to kind of get the top here and hit apply. And now let's give it a cool color. Uh, I like to do the anodized blue. Okay. Don't forget to hit save. Thanks for watching. If you feel like this video helped you, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.